Hi guys, today we are gonna share some knowledge about the rhinestones. First of all, there are two types of rhinestones on the market according to how we use them. One is hot fixed rhinestones, another is called glue fixed rhinestones. We start with hot fixed rhinestones. First of all, what we see here are different. The one on the left is DMC rhinestones, low quality. The one on the right is MC rhinestones, high quality. What they have in common is they are both made of glass and they can withstand high temperature. And uh, they all have a glue layer at the bottom which can be activated when heated so the rhinestones can stick to uh, fabrics and uh, clothes. DMC rhinestones backing is black and um, the backing of the MC rhinestone is gray. This is how we tell the difference between these two. And also you will notice MC rhinestone seem more sparkly. A few days ago we made an example shirt of this Louis Vuitton logo. Um, the rhinestones you see here are DMC rhinestones but they seem to be pretty okay in terms of the quality. But if you are looking for that extra quality, if you are making something to sell or you want to increase its value, of course you can go with MC rhinestones, it's absolutely okay. This is a comparison between DMC and MC rhinestones. We made this hat a few years back. This part is made of MC rhinestones. This part is made of DMC rhinestones. And we can compare them. Comparatively, uh, MC rhinestones seem more sparkly and brighter, whereas the DMC side looks a bit of dull. So that's the difference. Now let's move on to the glue fix rhinestones. First of all, uh, both of them need glue to stick and uh, the one on the left is made of resin plastic the one on the right is glass uh, so first of all we take a closer look at this resin rhinestones if you look at its backing uh, it has a layer of aluminium which is why it's so shiny and sparkling. It's just as bright as mirror. There's nothing else on this layer. No glue, no other layer. This is for the resin rhinestone. Super sparkle. Then for the glass rhinestones, uh, the backing is silver. Though it's sparkling as well, it's not as much as the resin rhinestone, and also it has a feeling of coarse. It's a kind of a matte feeling, matte finish. Uh, because the resin rhinestone is made of plastic, so it's cheap. But the problem is that it's not very resistant to scratching. And if the glue gets on the resin rhinestone, the rhinestones will be corroded and it's non-reversible. So if so, during your rhinestoning, if you incidentally get a glue on the rhinestones, it's better to discard that and use a new one. Then for the glass rhinestones, it will not be corroded at all. So you can easily clean the uh, glass rhinestones with water or rubbing alcohol. It's very easy to use and clean. Here are some of the applications that we can make. 
with the uh, blue fix rice dogs. First of all, is a pair of sandals, and then of course we can decorate phone cases and um, to bling pens as well. Bling tumblers too. And um, many other projects. These are two cups we made a few years back. This cup is made of glass rhinestone. This cup was uh, done with resin rhinestones. They look very much the same, but because this cup is made of the resin rhinestones, so as time goes by, the shy will decrease. And um, the, the durability of this cup is not as good as the glass one. Then for the glass rhinestone, the shy can be kept for long, and the product feels heavier. People will think the glass rhinestone is more expensive. Uh, in conclusion, rhinestone. Resin rhinestone is for beginner. It has greater variety, and then if you need a better quality, if you, your product is for sale, then probably you wanna go with glass rhinestones. Thank you very much for watching.